Sometimes it seems like there's too much information when it comes to health and wellness advice, especially if the subject is embarrassing, touchy, or maybe just kind of gross. Poop stuff. I'm Tori, Parade's resident health question guru, and the Cleveland Clinic has given me everything I need to answer your medical questions. No shame or embarrassment allowed here. This is the TMI Show. Click the bell for a notification about every new episode of the TMI show, and you can leave your TMI questions and topic ideas in the comments. If it's really TMI, shoot us an email. We read all of them. When it comes to birth control, you might think the pill is your only option. And that's understandable. It's the only birth control method that needs no further explanation. I mean, when someone says the pill, no one asks which pill. Kind of like when someone says Beyonce. You got an extra Beyonce ticket? Wait, Beyonce Knowles or Beyonce Carter? Yeah, it depends. The pill is among the most famous of the contraceptive methods, but it's not for everybody. Maybe you have a health condition like high blood pressure or you're a smoker over age 35. And if so, please quit. Or maybe the pill side effects are making your life miserable. We're talking mood swings, nausea, bloating, and water retention. Fun, right? Sure, the pill's inexpensive, easy to use, and it works great, if you remember to take it, that is. All right, Wednesday, Thursday down. All right, it's time for Friday. Wait, today's Saturday? But there are other birth control options that are just as effective and better for you. Thanks to my friends at the Cleveland Clinic, I've got info on some of the most popular non-pill birth control available. But before we get too deep, first things first. Unprotected sex can lead to human babies. That's right, sex creates people. It's like a whole thing. So if you don't want a human baby right now, make sure you're protected, you sexy little thing. Okay, everybody take some rubbers. One fun surprise unprotected sex can lead to is some nasty, annoying, and even life-threatening diseases. Herpes, chlamydia. But if you do touch each other, you will get chlamydia. HIV. So whatever method of birth control you use, you do need to protect yourself against STDs by using condoms. Am I doing it? I can't see you. When choosing contraception, you'll want to consider things like your medical history, how soon or if you're planning on having children, and your ability to stick to a plan. You have to be honest with yourself. Do you follow recipes to a T or do you wing it? Now, if you're looking for a 100% foolproof, cheap enough to be free contraception method, I've got one word for you: abstinence. Now that can be either the easiest option or the hardest, depending on your lifestyle, but we all know it's true. Abstaining from sex is the only guaranteed effective birth control method. Duh. But if you're sexually active or planning to be, you gotta take control of your birth control. We'll get you started here, but it's always best to talk things through with your OBGYN before you make any kind of medical decisions. She's tiny, flexible, and pretty close to perfect. No, not Elle Woods. Bend. And snap. The IUD. The IUD is an itty bitty piece of plastic, shaped like a T. Give me a T! Insert it into your uterus by your doctor. It runs interference to block sperm from reaching the eggs your body releases every month when you ovulate. Let's chase them down. One type of IUD contains the hormone progestin. Progestin helps thicken the mucus in the lining of the cervix to block the sperm. It can also stop eggs from being released from the ovaries altogether. No eggs, no pregnancy, no way. Don't have sex because you will get pregnant and die. There are also hormone-free IUDs that are wrapped in copper. So the copper in the IUD keeps the sperm from fertilizing the egg. While IUDs can cause annoying things like bloating, cramps, and weird discharge. Ew! Hey, this is a TMI show, you know. They're not as serious as the side effects some women experience from the pill. If you're a smoker, over age 35, or have some underlying medical condition, the pill can increase your risk of heart attack and stroke. Yeah. Stroke, and that's no joke. More good news about IUDs, they're about 99% effective. They're also long lasting, and the ones that contain progesterone get bonus points for reducing heavy periods. Depending on the type you get, an IUD can be effective anywhere from three to 12 years. 
but they're also simple for your doc to remove if you decide it's time. Real talk, insertion can be uncomfortable, but the IUDs are safe, and once in, you won't even know it's there. Now that is not the case for birth control injections. Yes, if you don't mind a little pinch in your arm or butt, you might want to consider getting the Depo-Provera shot every three months. Depo-Provera contains a form of the hormone progestin, which prevents you from ovulating. So you have an almost perfect shot, sorry, couldn't resist, at preventing pregnancy. Do you see what I did there? Just so you know, birth control injections aren't quite as effective as IUDs, and it's important to schedule your shots on time. So Aunt Lily went to see Dr. John Stangle, the man who knew more about human reproduction than anyone in New York City. Yes, you do have the hassle of a doctor visit every three months, but now there's a version of the shot that you can do at home, after you've been taught how by your doc, of course. If you're a set it, and forget it. Kind of girl, you might want to consider a birth control implant. This involves having a matchstick sized rod of, guess which hormone? Progestin inserted under the skin of your upper arm. The procedure is done in the doctor's office, and once it's in, it's good for up to three years. But if you decide you want a baby before those three years are up, your doc can remove it. It can also be removed if you develop side effects. While the birth control implant is almost 100% effective at preventing pregnancy, the steady stream of progestin in your bloodstream can cause side effects, including irregular bleeding, decreased sex drive, headaches, and abdominal or back pain, to name a few. Side effects can come with any birth control method that uses hormones to prevent pregnancy, including the pill, hormonal IUDs, shots, and implants. And if you're not down for that, there's a whole list of non-hormonal choices. But you have to remember to use them every time you have sex. And you have to use them correctly every time. And you know how easy it is to lose your head in the moment. These options aren't as effective as hormonal options because of user Error. They're called barrier methods because they do their best to keep sperm from entering the uterus. Condoms, ah, can't go wrong with the classics, fall into this category. Another type of barrier method is the diaphragm. A diaphragm is a dome-shaped disc of flexible rubber that you insert into your vagina so that it can block sperm from reaching your uterus. Hi, sweetie, listen, before I forget, did I leave my diaphragm at your place? <laughs> Hi, Mom. A diaphragm must be used along with a sperm killing, aka spermicidal, gel or foam for extra protection, inserted two hours or less before intercourse and left in place for eight hours. So, so much for living in the moment. All right, so intercourse at 2100 hours, I'll be there. Your doctor can help you figure out the best type and size of diaphragm for you, but they're not perfect. Around 12% of women who use them get pregnant each year. User, error. User. A cervical cap is very similar to a diaphragm, but it's smaller and not as effective. These little babies are about the size of a thimble, and as their name suggests, they fit over your cervix. About 14% of women using a cervical cap will become pregnant within the year. Then there's the sponge. So you think you're sponge worthy? Yes, I think I'm sponge worthy. I think I'm very sponge worthy. Now the sponge is probably the most convenient barrier method next to condoms. No need to see a doctor, no prescription needed. Moisten with water and insert it kind of like a tampon into your vagina, where it releases spermicide to kill off those little swimmers before they have a chance to get to your uterus. Get him. You can put it in right before the action starts or up to 24 hours ahead of time if you don't want to interrupt the flow. Know what I'm saying. Like the other barrier methods, the sponge ain't perfect either. It's anywhere from 76% to 88% effective. The better you are at using it, the better it will work. And now you are ready to take control of your birth control. If you have questions about contraception, pregnancy, or other medical topics, ask us in the comments. And if you want to keep it private, shoot us an email. And as always, thanks for watching.